morning everybody, today I'm going to do issue 13 of Billy Bones. Your mysterious mind. What you now, what you know, learn, remember, feel and think, and lots more, all happens in your mind. Your mind is in your brain. The human mind is incredible and fascinating yet still mysterious and unknown. Your body has been growing from birth, but it isn't just your bones, muscles, and organs that grow. A very important part of you who has also been growing, your mind. Your mind is what we call p the part of the brain that deals with activities that are not just physical. It is like a Reason machine with pieces that fit together and work 24 hours a day, non-stop. It is thanks to your mind that you can learn skills, think and have ideas, that you remember, sleep and dream. And that you have emotions and feelings. The mind makes you aware of what you do and what happens around you as well as working consciously too. Let's take a look at the exciting world inside your mind. Mysterious machine. The human mind might, makes us able to build very complicated machines. However, we still don't know very much about how the mind itself works. He's doing real well, really well with the jigsaw. Why is it upside down? Is he standing at the wrong side? Thinking, feeling, and learning. In compass, this part of your brain is important for learning and memory. It converts short-term memory into more permanent memory. Mind and intelligence. The human human mind is very complex. It makes us diff different from other animals because it is our mind that makes we humans so much more intelligent. Intelligency is what we call the skills we use to manage long list actions. We can understand things, learn new facts and skills. Make decisions, solve problems, deal with new situations, use information, understand it, store it, and apply it in the future. Complete jobs, activities, and much more. The best way to develop intelligence is to keep on learning, remembering, and experiencing new things every day as well as being in charge of your intelligence. Your mind makes you aware of yourself and gives you your feelings and emotions. Learning memory and emotions. Your mind allows you to learn tasks that now seem simple, such as reading a book. Can seem really difficult when you start learning how to do them. When you do something lots of times, and then you memorize how to do it, that is what we call learning. This process allows neurons to connect up. So once you've learned how to do something, it seems much easier the next time. Your memory is stored in a part of the brain called the hippocampus. Without your memory, you would not be able to learn anything or complete any task. Whoa. For example, it is your memory of a picture and how shapes fit together that helps you finish a jigsaw. But you cannot remember everything that happens in your whole life. In fact, 
Your memory chooses the information to be saved. This is linked with feelings and emotions. We have happy memories, but perhaps birthday parties we had where we laughed a lot. We enjoy remembering, but there are also unhappy memories. Perhaps punishment or a place where you we get hurt. We can only try to wipe these very difficult times around me. Sometimes we can't. Your memory, your best friend. I just don't forget. It's my party today, one o'clock. It's at our flat 43B, the high street. Love, Sophie. Billy Bones can talk about that for, for Sophie. Your brain can contain as much information as the largest library in the world. 20 million books. Library of Memories. Imagine that you, in the corner of your room, there's a bookcase full of books. Hold all your memories. There will be three sets of books. The first set of books will contain memories from long ago, such as your first day at school or last year's summer holiday. The second set of books would have more recent memories, such as what you had for breakfast this morning or what you played at break time with your friends. Finally, the third set of books would be who did, who did the memories you hold just for a moment, such as a phone number you've just read or what you just ate. In reality, the brain works in a similar way. But instead of the books, we have certain nerve cells, nerve lines. Nerve cells connect together to give us memories. There are three types of memory. Long-term memory, which contains memories from weeks to a lifetime ago. Short-term memory, which range from several weeks several minutes ago. Intermediate memory which lasts less than a minute. That's not nice. Immediate memory. Sophie has just sent a text to Jessica about her party. So Jessica has all the information she needs and is looking forward to the party. But if Jessica accidentally deletes the message, her immediate memory has to keep all the information in her mind so she doesn't miss the party. Short term memory. A few days ago, Jessica went to a toy shop to buy a birthday present for Sophie. Jessica's dad went to shop with her to help her choose. Jessica hopes Sophie likes her gift. Losing your memory. Getting older and br Mean injuries can cause an amnesis, which is memory loss. There are different types of amnesis. Amnesis can happen suddenly, sudden amnesis, or gradually, progressive amnesis. It can last for the rest of someone's life. Permanent amnesis, or just a period of time. Temporary amnesis, when a person loses their memory. Completely, it's called total animesis. But if they have forgotten just a part of their memory, it's called partly animesis. Long term memory. Jessica loves birthday parties. She still remembers the big party she had when she was five. All, when all her friends came. But what Jessica remembers most is the fantastic scooter her grandparents gave her. 
She spent all summer riding it. Why life is full of emotions. Six basic emotions. Imagine that you are at the theme park and you are wanting to go on the big roller coaster. You might feel restless and impatient while you have to wait in the cool for ages. Then you will probably feel excited and happy when it's your turn to climb to the roller coaster. You might feel nervous when the ride starts and then feel scared when you realize it's going very, very fast. All well, these emotions come with their own sensations. You might fidget around with impatience. When you feel nervous, your heart beats faster. You smile and maybe laugh with joy. Scream with fear. But it isn't your legs, heart, mouth or voice that creates your emotions. In fact, every emotion you feel is made by your mind. There are six basic emotions we all feel their anger, sadness, joy, fear, disgust, and surprise. Why do I say I'm heartbroken when it's actually my mind that's making me feel upset? Sleeping soundly. Restful mind and body. Everyone, whatever their age, must sleep to rest their body and relax their mind. Sleepwalking all night is so tiring, I wish I was lying in bed. Sleepwalking and nightmares. I hate nightmares. Some people open eyes while they sleep. You might sit up in bed, stand, walk, and even go downstairs and out of their home, all that realizing it. These people are sleepwalking. It is more common in children and adolescents, but adults also sleepwalk. No one knows what causes sleepwalking. There is no treatment. The best way to help a sleepwalker is to remove any obstacles in their way, help them get back to bed without waking them up. Nightmares happen to all of us and they can wake us up feeling scared. So we remember the nightmare. Eating shortly before you go to bed can cause nightmares but unfortunately no one knows how to avoid, avoid them. Number of hours to sleep. Number of hours sleep. Some people sleep for one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, and eight, or eight hours. That's how long some people sleep for. Learning to talk. Born with language. Unlike any other animal, people are born with the ability to learn language. This begins in the womb of at the mother. In the sixth month of pregnancy, Fertil's unborn baby begins to process the sounds that come from the voice of their mother. From birth, babies begin to learn the native language. Babies begin to learn and, and by three years can usually understand what they hear and speak well, having conversation. While learning to speak, children learn to talk with others. First, babies communicate without words. Instead, they use gestures and sounds. But as babies learn new words, they start to say things, ask questions, answer questions, greet people, in other words, talk. Learning to read. First, young children learn letters 
and their sounds than in words. And eventually they learn to read sentences. Most children learn to read and write at school from around the age of five. But long before that, children enjoy books and stories. Even young babies love pictures in books and enjoy hearing parents read stories out loud. Learning to talk. At the time a child starts school, the language becomes more complex. After five years, children talk very well and start to recognize letters and the sounds, and they begin to learn to read and write. Up to ten years, talking in a group. From age five, children talk with others easily. They can enjoy conversation. They can understand complicated sentences and also the differences between various ways of talking, in other words, intonations, and additions. Complete understanding from 10 years old, children become completely confident in using complicated language. They can write long sentences, use a large number of words, use abstracted words, words about things that aren't there. Fully grown. Learning never ends. Grown-ups keep adding new words to their vocabulary. These words might be linked with their job or to do with new Technology. Language is alive and changing, so learning never ends. Other forms of language. Deaf people communicate very well in different ways from people who can hear. Some can read moving lips, lip reading, but most communicate through sign language. This language is physical and works quite differently from spoken languages. Every idea and every word is expressed using a sign made with their hands. Our incredible human mind. We don't yet know what the human brain is capable of. People have built capitals skyscrapers and rockets using just a fraction of the mind potential. Humans have crossed land, sea and air with high-speed trains, submarines and supersonic aircraft. We have discovered microscopic better and massive planets. People have even travelled to the moon. Can you imagine what we humans could have do if we manage to use a hundred percent of our incredible human mind. Fastest human calculator. Alberto Cota Garosa is a champion of mental calculation. He has added together hundred single digits in nineteen point twenty three seconds. And has multiplied two eight digit numbers in 56.5 seconds. Ancient Egyptians and the Heart. Ancient Egyptians took out Kerberos' brain through the nose and threw it away before they mummified the body. They took out all the organs except the heart. They did not know that the brain was the mind. Instead, they thought the mind was in the heart. Ancient Egyptians left the heart in the body because they thought it was where people thought, felt emotions and were conscious. Creative minds. The human mind can be very creative. People imagine things, generate ideas, and invent clever codes. For example, chess, you are U-S-E-S, -E logic, memory, focus, and concentration. It is also a game where creative thinking is important. Since you have to invent 
new strategies and use logic to win each new game. That is the end of issue 13. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Now after you've hit subscribe, please hit the notification bell. Goodbye and hit subscribe.